The long-standing rivalry between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov appears far from reaching an ending point. McGregor recently stoked the flames of their feud through a series of Twitter jabs. Throughout the week, Conor took to social media, targeting the Nurmagomedov clan, first focusing on Nurmagomedov's failed drug test and then rekindling the controversial aspects of their rivalry. During the talk on Twitter, Fan asked McGregor who he wants to rematch the most. He didn't hesitate and said he wants to fight his rival, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Here is his tweet. If you had the choice to have a rematch with someone who would it be? Khabib, he is fighting's biggest chicken. McGregor's latest tweets have brought attention back to their unfixed bad feelings with Khabib, making fans wonder if they'll fight again. But there's no official news from either fighter or the UFC about a rematch yet, or if that fight will ever gonna happen. Following Tom Aspinall's impressive victory to win the interim heavyweight championship last week, Henry Cejudo has criticized his celebration after the fight. Aspinall won the interim championship by knocking out Sergei Pavlovich in the first round. But Cejudo thinks Aspinall celebrated too soon for getting just the interim title. Here is what he said. Watching Tom Aspinall win the interim world title, he's already celebrating. It's an interim, Tom. Save those tears for when you actually win the real belt. Sometimes, when I see people like that, they just get too emotional after an interim belt. Yeah, you got a trophy, but they might as well dip that thing in either silver or bronze because it's not the real thing. As a competitor, I start to think about their mentalities. How is it or what is it that makes them? Has he thought that he's reached the pinnacle of the world? I'm not picking on you, Tom. I'm just saying to you, save those tears for when you actually own the undisputed title. Many people don't agree with Cejudo on this. Even though Aspinall is only the interim champion, lots of fans believe he might be better than John Jones and could potentially beat him. Jake Paul reveals a game plan for selecting his opponent in MMA debut. During his appearance on the MMA Hour, he discussed his upcoming MMA plans, specifically targeting a potential fight with Nate Diaz. Here is what he said. It has to be a big name, but at the same time it has to be a fight where I think it's 50-50. Nate Diaz is the perfect person for that. I genuinely, wholeheartedly know that I can beat him but I also know it's going to be a challenge. We want to make an MMA fight happen quickly. The opponent has to make a ton of sense. I'd have to really, really work for it. But that's what excites me is going into these fights with it being a 50-50 chance of an outcome. Fans are excited about the idea of Nate Diaz fighting Jake Paul in MMA. Even though it's not official yet, Jake Paul talking about it has made a lot of people hyped. We don't know if the fight will really happen, but the buzz around Jake Paul getting into MMA keeps growing. In a recent interview, Javier Mendez, Khabib Nurmagomedov's coach, talked about fighters who's switching between different combat sports. He said tough things about Dylan Danis but praised Jake Paul for how he approaches boxing. Here is what he said. I'm assuming Bellator cut him because he don't want to fight nobody and then they cut him. So, you get cut after that and now you're talking about, oh, I want to fight in the UFC. Yeah right. You got cut from Bellator buddy, the UFC don't want nothing to do with you and now, you're saying you want to go in the main UFC, that you won't fight, the contenders is beneath you? It's like really? He doesn't take the sport serious. Like Jake Paul, I have huge respect for him because he's boxing but he's doing everything a boxer is supposed to do and he's training properly so I have huge respect for him. But anyone that's coming into the sport and they don't respect the sport, I'm not going to respect them. I'm not gonna have respect and I don't want to watch him. So, I'll never watch Dylan Danis in anything until he takes the sport serious, then I'll watch. But if he doesn't, I don't want to see a train wreck. Mendez made it clear that unless Dylan Danis takes fighting more seriously, he won't support or watch his fights. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications.
so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.